Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use file permissions in Linux. And especially, we are going to talk about symbolic permissions uh, in Linux. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is I will uh, just change the directory to the desktop. And you can see uh, here I have a file which uh, has a name file itself, right? So what I want to do is I want to uh, list the long listing of uh, this file. So I will just do ls minus l and press enter. And maybe in the previous video also I have uh, you know just uh, touched this topic that these uh, thing here is the permission for the file. Now uh, the first dash on the left hand side you can see dash or minus whatever you call it is the type of file for example uh, if it's a uh, normal dash it means it's a normal file if it would be a uh, d then it would be a directory or if uh, it would be a character special file then it would be a c or it would if it would be a um, b then it would be a binary uh, special file right now the next three uh, you know group next three dash group or whatever next three element uh, you can say here is for the owner of the file right and then next three is for the group of uh, the file so group uh, contains these rights and the last three uh, is for the permission is the permission for everybody else right now the next uh, you can see here is one and one stands for the symbolic links of the file so right now we have only one link right now uh, the next is this name which is for the you know owner of the file so the name of the owner of the file is this one right next is the name of the group of the file so this is for the group now next is this one and uh, this is for the size of the file so right now our file size is 22 and then next is the date on which it's created and then the file name right so these are uh, the permissions so basically we are interested in this area which is uh, the user group and other permissions and the name of uh, the user and the group right so let's uh, try to uh, change the permission of uh, this file so uh, there is a utility called chmod which stands for change mod to change the permission of the file so for example i want to provide the permission to the user also but first of all what kind of permission we have so for this file for example we have three main kind of uh, permission one is read other is write and third one is executable right so r stands for read w stands for write and x stands for executable so read write executable permission for a file okay so for example what i want to do is i want to change the permission of uh, others to execute this file so i want to allow the other persons to execute this file for example right so what i can do is i will just use chmod which is the utility to change the permission of the file and then i can give the first of all uh, name of others so for example o stands for others here and then plus or minus plus is for adding the permission and minus is for subtracting the permission and then the permission itself so i want to grant the executable permission to the other user so o stands for other here plus is for adding the permission and x for example is the permission so executable permission right and then the name of the file itself so file right and i will press enter here so permission is changed and once again when we do ls minus l you can see here earlier the others doesn't have the executable permission 
but now the others have executable permissions right next what we can do here is once again we can change the permission of others to write also so we can do w here and uh, then press enter and once again we will do the long listing and you can see the others can write and execute and uh, the read permission they already had so they can now read write and executable now it's not necessary that you want to do this uh, for in the normal circumstances but this is just for the example we want to so i want to show you right so for example uh, now i want to change the permission of the group and the group already have uh, the permission read and write right so i want to change it to read write executable so for the group once again we will use ch mod and then for group g and then plus x so we will change the permission of the group and the name of the file and just press enter and then long listing once again and you can see now the group can also read write and execute now for example once again i want to uh, you know reduce the permission of uh, the group once again so right now group can read write and execute and i want to make it just to read so just allow the group to only read the file so once again ch mod and as i told you g is for group and minus is for reducing the permission right so we want to remove for example write and executable right and then the name of the file and once again when i press enter and once again when i do long listing now you can see group can only read because we have subtracted the you know permission of the group to write and execute using this notation okay now uh, for example i want to give the permission to uh, every, everybody so for example i want to give the user of uh, this file or owner of this file to read write and execute and also i want to give uh, the give the group of this uh, file to read write and execute so what i can do is here one more no notation i can use which is for example ch mod and then the user is for uh, the user and for example i want to also change the group so you can change the permission for a uh, multiple uh, you know group or user for example you want to change it for user also and for the group also so you can use uh, this combination also right and you can also use equal to so which uh, is for uh, granting the permission also so this notation is also used to uh, you know changing the permission and i want to make it uh, read write and execute so i will just do read write execute rwx for uh, read write execute okay so this will change the permission of user or owner of this file and the group of this file to read write and execute and the name of the file don't forget right and then press enter and once again we will do the long listing and now we can see everybody have uh, read write and execute permissions right now for example i, I want to uh, remove the permission or change the permission to everybody right so for example i want to remove uh, the permission for the user and the group and uh, the uh, others so that they cannot even read write or execute right so once again i will do ch mod and what you can do is you can do user group and uh, the other you can do the notation something like this and then you can uh, for example uh, some do something like um, minus read write and execute something like this okay and this will uh, remove the permission or otherwise you can just do use you can just use a for all and then you can do minus and then do read write and execute right so a stands for all so it stands for user 
or owner group and others so you are basically want to subtract all the permission from all the users and you can press enter before that we need to give the name of the file press enter and then use long listing and now we can see nobody has the permission to uh, you know change or read write or execute this file right now for example i want to give everybody their permission back so i want to give the same status i have in the you know uh, starting so i want to give the owner of this file read and write group also read and write and the others just the read permission so what i can do is i can do ch mod and for the user i want to add once again the permission read and write okay and then you can use the comma to give the other others the permission for example group and once again we want to give the permission to the group read and write or you can do this thing something like read and write using equals both are uh, the same commands and uh, then for the others we want to just give the read permission something like this and the name of the file okay so use comma in order to uh, you know separate the permission or if you want to uh, change the multiple uh, permission of the multiple users right and press enter and it gives some uh, problem let's see what the problem is yeah so the problem is uh, ch mod is not spelled correctly so i must correct it so i will remove this a and now the command is normal right so i will press enter and now once again i will do the long listing and now once again we have the normal permission of the file so for owner we have read write group we have read write and for other we have read permission so this is how you can change the permission of a file using symbolic notation so this uh, r w or x is called a symbolic notation right so this is how you can change the permission i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now